Well, that's a powerful question, <laughs> Harley. First of all, we just, again, want to thank everyone tonight. It's the first time that I had a chance to see this with a large audience, and it's amazing to see your reaction and to know your support there by all the applauses and the standing ovations at different parts in the film. Thank you very much. It's, that in itself talks about what the legacy really is, the fact that it continue on. I think, you know, it's important. We have a whole new generation out there, Harley, a whole new generation of folks that weren't around 50 years ago, 40 years ago, when all this started and began. And so I think this, this gives them an opportunity to learn what the heroes, the pioneers, the folks that had the courage and the, and the commitment to really go against this powerful agribusiness industry 50 years ago, when there wasn't this kind of support. You couldn't go into a place and expect hundreds of people or thousands of people to come. It took lots of work, as you all saw in the film, lots of sacrifice that took place. And I think that is being translated in the film. Diego, Pablo, you all just did an excellent job of showing so many of the things that occurred during the marches and the fast and the, the support of the labor movement and the support of consumers and the aspect of religion in the movement. All those different things, I mean, it shares with a whole new generation of folks the, what it took to build this movement in those early days and the tremendous, tremendous uh, amount of energy that folks put into this and, and gave to this to really make it possible. And so that I hope that people take this, the younger generation, and they utilize this as a, as a guide for them and what still needs to be done on issues like immigration reform or on, on issues like the Cesar Chavez Foundation. They have a whole effort to do a day of service to celebrate Caesar's birthday and to get petitions signed. So we want this film to also motivate people, young folks, but also all of us that were involved in the boycott at one time or another, to become reactivated and to do something, continue to do something on behalf of the women and the men, and too often still, children that harvest our fruits and vegetables and ensure that we remember what they did back then, but we, the best legacy is that we continue to live it today and we continue to take action today. That's the best legacy in terms of what we can hope for out of what was done back in the 60s. Arturo.